You will own nothing and be happy. affordability as of this morning is at a 38-year low. U.S. intelligence leaders say China poses the most consequential threat to the nation's national security. Well, I think it does seem like we're headed into a recession here. And what does that mean exactly if it doesn't mean communism? Well, it means that you would own nothing. In a world of uncertainty and change, where economic landscapes are shifting and global forces loom. It's vital to stay informed and prepared. I've been going through mental jumping jacks frequently now. Being a realtor, the housing market is always top of my mind. But it doesn't stop there. Like most people, concerns about our country, national security, personal safety, and how best to secure my retirement in the future. Well, it can truly be overwhelming. I've been seeing and hearing about the World Economic Forum and their plan for a great reset. Now, I've been hearing about this for several years now, but what really made me sit up and pay attention was seeing it on a website. Well, it means that you would own nothing. Everything would be owned by, most likely, one of the many World Economic Forum partner corporations, and you would have no privacy. Take a look at this video published in 2016 on the World Economic Forum's Facebook page. The world is evolving rapidly and concerns about the future are mounting. As a real estate broker and advocate for the American dream, I find the statement, you will own nothing, frankly terrifying. The World Economic Forum speaks of a future where you will own nothing and be happy. I mean, relinquishing all of your property rights? Yeah, I don't think so. There's even talk of a 15-minute city. Protests are popping up around the world against something called 15-minute cities. What is a 15-minute city? If the World Economic Forum could lay out its perfect design for humanity, it would look like this. You would never leave your house. You would get rid of your car. You would ride your bike everywhere. You would walk to everything you needed within a 15-minute radius of your home, right? The, the pharmacy, the grocery store, grandma, school, everything would be within 15 minutes of your home. For the government to say, nope, you can't. Right. We need to solve it. When government forces you into something, a way of living, when has it actually ever worked out? The answer is, Never. Can anyone think of an example where the government forced you to do something and it worked out? Lockdowns, that was fun. Why would you want to restrict people's movements? Now there are some theories that it has to do with social credit or social credit scores. Personally, I think it has to do with ESG. And yes, everybody will have an ESG score that will be tracked. ESG is a thing. Look it up. It's basically where the government and big corporations have gotten together, teamed up to control you and me. Companies like BlackRock, if you're not familiar with BlackRock, they are buying up property everywhere, outbidding the homeowner so that the corporation owns the property. And their intent is that we all rent. Let's also be clear. The future is not just happening. The future is built by us, by a powerful community as you here in this room. We have the means to improve the states of the world. It's now becoming increasingly difficult to tell where the private sector ends and the government begins. We're seeing a merger of the two. 
you know, at the end of the day, for me, it's not just about property rights. It's about securing the legacy of owning property and handing it down to your children and grandchildren. Home ownership has always been the cornerstone of the American dream, and it's a means to pass down wealth. But the cost of home ownership has risen greatly, and it's not a given that people can afford to buy homes anymore. The World Economic Forum's vision of the Great Reset raises questions about who will truly hold the reins of our lives. The phrase, you will own nothing and be happy, triggers a profound concern. So am I alone in feeling this way? As I get closer to getting ready to retire, you know, these are things that weigh on my mind. There are lots of things that weigh on my mind. You know, I've been on the hamster wheel a long time and starting to feel a need for change. You know, we never know how long we're gonna be on the earth and more particularly while we're here, how long our health is gonna hold up. I mean, nobody's gonna go whitewater rafting and hiking up a mountain when they're 70. So this video is a little bit of an experiment. My intent is to do a series if the demand is there. I'm reading a book right now, a lot in it, and the title of the book is You Will Own Nothing and Be Happy. Now this video may fall flat. Many people dismiss this stuff as conspiracy theories, but it's all over the internet, and the World Economic Forum has even put it in writing. So I'm just gonna follow where the facts lead me. You will own nothing and be happy. Quite frankly, that's dangerous. You should own everything, and then you'll be happy. Nobody wants to be at the mercy of a landlord or the US government. While the challenges are daunting, there is hope by connecting with each other, sharing our concerns, and finding solutions. We can find balance between securing our financial future and cherishing all that we have in the present moment. My goal is to seek what truly matters. The protection of my home, my financial security, and my happiness. Put your comments below. I'd love to know if this topic resonates with you. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell.